But first, I'd like to recognize our instructors that are here today. They are Project Lead the Way Master Instructors. We have Jenny Croslin, Julie Smiley Foster, and Stephanie Harris. My name is Mark Pierce, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of our academy and then turn it over to our students, the reason that we are all here. The Biosciences and Medicine Academy at Francis Tuttle started in 2007 as one of the first Biosciences Academy pilots. We started with two teachers and about 40 students and have grown it to five teacher program and up to 150 students. As a technology center in Oklahoma, we serve 11 different high schools in the northwest portion of Oklahoma City, from large suburban high schools to smaller, more rural high schools. And this creates a very diverse student population. The students in the academy attend for one half of their high school day, taking the science classes with us from pre-AP and AP chemistry, pre-AP physics, microbiology, and anatomy and physiology, and their math courses from geometry all the way through AP Calculus, BC, and AP Statistics. And of course, they have all their Project Lead the Way Biosciences courses. Our school pays for all of the students in the BSMA to be members of a student organization called HOSA, or Future Health Professionals. It is this organization that we use as a vehicle for all of our community service, fundraising, and state and national leadership opportunities. As an academy, we strive to solve the healthcare and biosciences shortages with the puzzle, the, the shortages puzzle, with the following pieces. Academic preparation with our pre-AP and AP science and math courses. Hands-on learning with our Project Lead the Way courses. Exceptional experiences with community service, tours, and many other activities, and leadership through HOSA. Our students leave us after two or three years as well-rounded students with the tools they need to be successful in college and in the future. So let's hear from our students now in a question and answer format. And Melissa, you get the first question. Leaving your home high school for half a day is hard for many sophomores. Why did you take that chance? I actually had a relative who was already in the program. And through his first year, I was able to watch him grow as a student. He became academically focused, he gained study skills, and I just thought that that was something that was very important in a student's life. I also was able to watch him uh, partake in the Project Lead the Way curriculum, and I was in awe of all the hands-on activities they were able to participate in, whether it was dissecting cash, dissecting sheep hearts, being able to build muscles on a mannequin, and even working with EKGs. Being able to just relate those basic science classes to the medical field, which I was already um, interested in, was just exciting and interested me. And I thought that this opportunity could not be passed, and I would not be able to gain this opportunity anywhere else. So I thought that opportunity was a perfect reason to take that jump and take that risk. Thank you, Melissa. And Sophia, what has been your favorite thing about your courses or the program in the Biosciences Academy? My favorite thing has easily been all the opportunities that it has provided for me. Whether it's through PBS or anatomy and physiology or AP chemistry, the rigorous courses have equipped me with real world knowledge that I've been able to apply in many situations. For instance, when I shadowed a cardiac surgeon over the summer, he spent the first bit of our shadowing period explaining to me very basic things like how to read an echocardiogram or what was going on in various surgical procedures. But after he found out that I'd already known the basics from courses such as PBS, we could delve into the more like difficult to understand concepts. And so through that opportunity, I could maximize my time and learn more. I've also had opportunities such as writing a blog for PLTW and uh, competing in HOSA and winning first at state and then being able to compete at nationals. And the opportunities and the knowledge that I've gained from my classes are what have helped me with those. Great. Caleb, do you as a senior in high school feel prepared for university study? What part of your preparation for college has been the most successful or rewarding? Through Project Lead the Way, I have gained the necessary skills in order to produce the best work possible and understand the proper steps in order to drafting a research paper. 
Conducting research can often be very difficult for students who do not regularly practice these skills. However, these skills can be the most rewarding or the most devastating to a student's academics. Project Lead the Way has taught me the credible research skills which I will carry with me on my studies at the university level. Thank you, Caleb. Melissa, another question for you. How have you grown as a student and as an individual throughout your time in the BSMA? I would say the answer to that question is I've grown as a more well-rounded student. I've been able to become more academically focused. I've gained study skills and through the hours and hours and hours of homework at the Project Lead the Way curriculum and the classes at our academy, I'm pretty much sure that I've mastered time management skills. So not only that, I've also been able to learn skills that are not taught in a class, professionalism, through our dress code, our hosted dress code that we call it at the BSMA, and also leadership skills, being able to work with groups and present, also in, uh, present in more professional areas where we worked in a grant proposal project, being able to talk about your ideas, defend them, and just the ability to adjust your academic register depending on your audience. Those skills have what been, I think, have set me apart and grown and made me grow into the person I am today. I've also been able to look at the philanthropic side of the medical field, where at BSMA they try and um, push us to work on volunteering in our community and knowing that the concepts that we talk about in these Project Lead the Way classes, PBS, HBS, MI, and BI, the issues that we talk about in the medical field, that they are actually um, focused on those patients and those being able to focus on those people and know that the, that they, the people that are, um, we are discussing are important. And just having a well-rounded view of the medical field and also being able to um, have those skills, those professionalism, leadership, and academic preparedness will really set me apart in college and in the future and will just put me at a higher level Thank you, Melissa. I think Melissa's been doing homework uh, in the evenings while she's been here, haven't you? Yes, <laughs> I have plenty of homework, microbiology and chemistry. Thank you, Ms. Coslin. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, what type of student should choose a Project Lead the Way Academy? I firmly believe that anybody who has an interest in STEM or even just in critical thinking should apply. Oftentimes in public schools, they take students based on test scores for enriching courses, but with Project Lead the Way, everybody who has an interest has an opportunity. And so even if you don't have the background, like I was homeschooled and my mother knew nothing about science, and so I was on my own for that. So going to Project Lead the Way classes gave me the opportunity, someone who didn't even have a strong STEM background, to be able to have a stronger one than I believe a lot of my public school peers might. So. Thank you, Sophia. Caleb, what makes the BSMA different than your home high school? The BSMA offers opportunities that would never be possible at my home high school. Classes such as microbiology, principles of biomedical science, and biomedical innovations give us a leg up in the world of competitive academics. Outside of the classroom is really where these skills we learn inside these classes are taken to the next level. Through the BSMA, we are able to participate in organizations such as HOSA, which allow us to interact with peers with the same interests. We are also able to enjoy a variety of community service events, which allow us to get involved inside of our community. Our instructors even find individual opportunities for our personal advancement, such as internships and shadowing. It is these reasons why I came to the BSMA. Thank you, Caleb. And I have one last question for each of you to answer. What do you see yourself doing in the future? And we'll start with Melissa. I plan on majoring in biology and hopefully entering into medical school, uh, specifically focusing on obstetrics and gynecology. For me, I came into the BSMA with a very set mind. I was like, I'm going to do cell biology and I'm going to do oncology. But after progressing more through my PLTW courses and through the academy, I've considered research, the international level, or interests even in biochemistry and microbiology. After I graduate, I plan to attend the University of Oklahoma State, where I'll, ma or I'll major in biological sciences with a minor in finance as a backup plan. 
After that, I plan to attend the University of Oklahoma's College of Medicine and hopefully figure out where I go from there and see whatever suits my talents and interests. However, I know wherever I go and whatever I do, I will take the skills I've learned from Project Lead the Way and be able to use them to the best of my ability. Thank you, guys. You guys are, are great. Let's give them a great round of applause. Again, we appreciate Project Lead the Way inviting us to be here. If you're ever in Oklahoma, come see us. We'd love to have you.